Hey, good evening everybody. David here at Scale Models Midwest. Welcome back to the workbench. Hope you're having a great week. As you can see, I am calling the Revell 1967 GTX done. As you remember, this is the kit box art. Wanted to replicate it. I did a little bit brighter yellow. I did uh, TS-47 Tamiya Chrome Yellow with uh, three coats of Tamiya TS-13 Clear. Did not polish it. I just did a really good sand on the body, got rid of a lot of mold marks, and uh, went up to about 6,000 grit before I did the uh, primer. And then I polished that up to about 3,200 grit before I put on the color coats and then ultimately the clear. So it turned out really well, I think. As you saw in the pictures, you have that beast of a 426 Hemi. And on this kit here, I have to touch this up with a little bit of paint, maybe I won't, but right here on the very front of both of the hood hinges, there's a little bit of a, of a I don't know, um, a ridge, for lack of a better term. Uh, kind of makes it a chore to put it back in the slots. So I sanded the ridge, and it still stays up. But makes it a lot easier to put the hood back down. So there you go. Got the decals on. I have to touch up one little spot there of the decal underneath the windshield wiper. The other problem spot that I noted in a previous video, and I took the advice of some of the YouTube comments. Thank you very much for making the comments, by the way. I cut the side panel uh, openings down probably about an eighth of an inch, maybe a sixteenth at best, and it's seated just perfect. As you can see, it's level where I needed it to be. Um, I did trim the sides just a bit on the dash top, because this is a two-piece unit, and I still ended up with a little bit of a gap, probably about one sixteenth of an inch, where it was almost, uh, almost half an inch because of the way it was sitting initially. So. I don't know if it's just the way I was putting things together, but as I refit everything, I noticed it sat better, but it still was a little high as far as the dash top was concerned. So I cut those two opening slots on the sides and they work just fine. Um, your mileage may vary. So great kit to build if you're building it, to kind of keep that in mind. The other thing too, when I was researching interior colors, I like lighter color interiors, white definitely is one of my favorite colors for the interior it just shows off detail better but I just like white interiors tan interiors very light gray this one when I saw a yellow car with a white interior I saw the top was in yellow so I did the same thing with my kit I saw a blue one the same way a red one the same way even with black interiors I think now correct me if I'm wrong leave your comments please um, I think the top there is metal I can't remember seeing one of these up close. In high school, I remember one of um, the uh, upperclassmen when I was a sophomore, his name was Steve. He had a GTX, but that's as far as I remember. I remember it was blue, I think it had a vinyl top, but that was it. And the closest thing I had to seeing something like this afterwards was a Coronet 440. Um, I have a picture of that in my scrapbook because I like the shape of the car. Always been into the big 60s rides. I just can't remember. I didn't take a picture of the interior. But do your research, paint it accordingly, paint it the way you want it, you know, however, it's your car. I also like the fact that this rolls extremely well. Ravel did a great job on the plastic parts for the front torsion bar suspension and the rear end. And uh, sometimes I've had to glue the wheels onto the hubs. But I like it if I can roll it a bit, you know. This one, I can roll it, works great. And again, as you can see, underside is just paint detail, nothing spectacular. Just use a chrome Molotow pen uh, on the end. And uh, just really like the looks of this car overall. Very sharp Mopar, very sharp. This is gonna look great on my shelf. Um, Use a chrome Molotow pen for the detail, for all that, and then of course the kit decals. And of course, not forgetting, good old hood ornament. Almost threw away that part, but when I saw it, I said, gotta make sure it puts on there. So ultimately, uh, my verdict of this kit is, I'm glad I got it. 
um, built it up really nice. I wouldn't mind getting this kit again and then maybe uh, prostrating it. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to have to see. I've just got a ton of kits. I've got a couple that I've got on deck. Getting ready to show you one of the kits I'm going to start building that my wife chose. So uh, I'll show you that here in a moment. But we're going ahead and move this out of the way. In fact, we'll put it next to two of my recent builds. Of course, the Ron Keslowski charger right there. Hello. And then the 48 hour group build Trans Am, which both kits I really like. So there you go. And then I asked my wife what kind of kit I should build next. And uh, I gave her some options. And then um, she said Black Camaro. Well, the Black Camaro she was referring to was Ross Chastain. And uh, this is the Salvino JR kit of the month. And uh, it's molded in black plastic. But I'm thinking I'll still uh, deepen the lines a bit for the roof flaps and whatnot. And I'll still paint it black before I put on the decals. And of course, as a member of Salvino's JR Builders Club, they give you another set of decals in case you mess up. Or if you maybe want to build another kit and do it as a throwback. Um, I actually have a kit in mind that I'm going to build as a throw forward using uh, one of the more current racers decal sheets. But uh, I'll be doing that a little bit later on. I'll give you more details later. But I do like the fact that they give you the extra decals. And of course, um, on this one, they also gave us that extra metal axle. So, cool deal. So, um, that's the kit I'm going to start building. My wife wanted me to build this one, so as soon as it's completed, I'm going to put it in a box for her to display on her desk at work, which would be pretty cool. Now, I've got another one in mind that I'm going to start building in the background. I won't show you that one just yet. But uh, I've got the easel out, so that tells you i got some shop cards to share with you. First shop card, this guy is new to YouTube. Go check out his channel, like, subscribe, check out his videos. He's already started off on a really good, really good note. So this guy right here, Thomas, the model hobbyist. And he's got a picture of, uh, looks like a die-cast Mustang that's been blown apart. I like it. Nice card right there. Definitely go check out his channel. I will leave a link in the description, um, as well as with all the other ones that I've received shop cards from. Thank you. Keep them coming. I've got some shop cards that will be going out in the mail on Saturday for about six or seven people that have requested. Sorry for the delay. We've been working on uh, some systems issues at work, so it's kind of keeping me until late at night. But again, thanks, Thomas. Great card. Again, go like and subscribe his channel, please. <clears throat> Second one comes from Rusty K's Rat Rod Garage, right there. Nice card, digging on the Jeep. Uh, Jason, Blue Ox, if you're looking at that, show that one to Heather. If you don't already have this card, go to Rusty K's and get that. I think uh, Matt with Auto Car Videos, his wife also did this as part of a Heather and Heather challenge. So uh, if you guys don't have this, Matt and uh, Jason, go ask Rusty K for uh, a card and Give this to your respective wives. I think it's a cool looking card. And uh, thank you very much for uh, the kind words on the back, sir, as always. Thank you very much. If you want a shop card, I got my email in the description. Um, before I go, I'm going to show you some pictures that I've been getting from some of our fellow model builders. And I've been kind of stocking them up. I think you're going to like some of these. Let me go on ahead and run upstairs and uh, get those added to the video before I post this. See you in a moment. So the first kit is from Larry Landis. Once again, uh, this is a Halcyon model kit of the Dog Warrior from Alien 3. The detail on this looks really cool, and especially the side profile view. You see the airbrush work. The, uh, the detail on this is just fantastic. Larry, great looking kit, man. Just keep them coming. And Terry Adams sent me some pictures of some kits that he's built. Uh, this one here looks like the AMT Wagon Rod. I built this kit in the past. And uh, I love it. This thing's got fender well headers, big mill, even bigger rims, and uh, the spine along the top of the vehicle, see-through, and of course rear hinge doors. Love the paint job, Terry. So this next kit here looks like to be uh, 40 Willis coupe done in a street 
Pro Street style with the really deep dish rims out back. What looks like Champ 500 center lines up front, MSD ignition box, looks like a magneto on top of a huge mill with a strapped bug catcher scoop. And I love the miles deep black on gold paint job. Great job, sir. One of my favorite cars of all time has always been a 66 or 67 Nova. And uh, Terry does great justice to that with a huge Pro Mod style hood scoop, as well as a very low to the ground Pro Stock chassis. Uh, again, great paint job, big wing out back. Love the kit, Terry. And then finally, from Terry, got a really cool looking Pro Streeted 89 Mustang uh, notchback with the short wing out back. Looks like a three, four inch hood scoop and uh, just mean stance. Can't go wrong with Mustangs. Those are my favorites of all time, naturally. But uh, again, thanks, Terry, and thanks, Larry, for sending pictures of these. Keep them coming. If you want to have your pictures featured on my YouTube channel, I'll be more than happy to share them with everybody. I just think it's great looking at kits that other people have built and sharing them with others because I look at them and I get some ideas on what I'd like to build. And um, I don't know, hope you do too. So with that, hope you're having a great day. We'll catch you on Saturday for the next video. Take care.